I am Squishers and welcome to episode two of Squishmas Under the Stairs with all the socks with me, Kate, and all the yarn. So today, because we made it to day two, how wonderful. Like, I'm going to give myself a pat on the back. It's day two in a row, we've made day two for Vlogmas. And what have I been doing today? Well, actually, what have I not been doing today? It has been full on. Um... The clue is in the colour. I've done a lot of colour work today. I've also done a lot of squishing and a lot of packet, and I discovered a bag or two. Would you like to see my bag? <laughs> Only one of my unicorn bags. I'd used it to stuff another bag that I'd made. Why would I do that? Why? I have no idea. But I discovered a unicorn bag, which is a great place to pick up from yesterday when we talked just about tubes, because this is essentially a tube. Like, I love this so much. This is a tube, I knit it in mohair, and this is definitely Gloria underneath. Have a look, have a little look. Oh my gosh. And after I finished it into a tube, I was like, I just can't wear it because look at the fluff. Or if I put it near my face, can you see the fluff factor? Like there are some things I just can't have near my face. And this is it. So I was like, I just can't bear to not have it as something because that just feels like it's just unrealized potential that I'm just not even giving it a chance. So I made it into a bag. Boom. So if you've got a bit of sewing skills, tubes can become bags or in my case, unicorn bags. And why are they called unicorn bags? Because I never ever make more than one. And every single one is different. I've got quite a few. This is one. This is so cute. This is a unicorn bag. Oh my gosh. With the rainbow hundreds and thousands. I just it's the tiniest bag and I usually use it for socks. Anyway, let's get back to what I was talking about. So I've discovered some stuff, found some bags, done some yarn, done some bit of knitting. I've yet to finish my knit that I've been doing. Oh, story of my life. And this is what I'm knitting again today, but it's okay because I'm practicing a new type of knitting. Well, it's not new. It's just a tech. It's just, I'm either knitting only one thing or everything and I sometimes can't work out which approach works best do you have that problem where you just like knit all the things and then you'll get them all dead like one will finish then another one will finish and then you pick up another one but mostly you're in a quagmire of unfinishedness and you know that in that pile of unfinishedness there's probably at least two or three projects that you could you you could quite happily just <laughs> unravel and start again so i've decided that this 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 new kate because if you caught my emails a little while ago i was like oh my gosh i have done some stuff i have changed some things which involves lots of things on the website and the kind of stuff i make because i am a i am i was gonna say i'm a little i'm a little old little old yarn shop and i am i'm tiny i'm just me I do all the yarn dyeing, all the yarn squishing, all the yarn winding. I have help from my other my other half to do some fun things, which I'll show you in a minute because that's what's been going on today. I've been like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to show them the stuff that you've made. I'll put a pin in that for a second. Boop. And remember where I was. So I'm knitting just one thing at a time because I'm finding that quite satisfying because I have to finish it before I start another one. But the good thing is I generally, success rate of finishing them faster. But this one has taken a few days simply because I've done so much other stuff. Like, you know, you know, you know what it's like. All of a sudden you're like, yes. And then you're like, oh, 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 this is this project. But today I'm gonna commit to finishing it because I have to start the next project. So let's just chat about Squish. So tubes are marvellous. And if you can do a knit stitch, you are rocking. If you can do a purl stitch, your world is going to change. This is just knit purl. And I say your world is going to change because if you're already, if you're like over the hill and you're like surpassing me in knit skills, which is extremely likely, you're like, yeah, Kate, whatever, it's a rib. I know. But when you get pearls, you're just like, oh my gosh, it opens up opportunities to do things like squishy, stretchy headbands, neckbands, all the right stuff. But let's just, well, I was going to take, say step back, but we're going to go further in. <clears throat> Today I'm talking about what my next whip's going to be because I'm so excited. So the next whip is going to be one of these types of patterns because I have been making these like, oh my gosh, 
this is the benefit of monogamous 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 one knit at a time approach i can cast one of these on and have it done in a day like oh my gosh the joy and this is after like probably months of knitting catelets and if you're new here catelets are like my wonder all fit all make it your own over the head thing right but it's quite big so i've kind of like gone straight into the scrappies in a way that i'm enjoying quick wins and that's great because i'm coming up to christmas and i kind of want to like do a lot of stuff so quick wins are kind of like beep, beep, ticking my list at the moment so quick wins that are going to be flying into your inbox soon are the pattern for this hat here it, which is based on my pattern the one on one off cowl but i've called it swip swap because that's pretty much what you're doing the whole time because if you have managed to get yourself into the place where you can knit a tube with a knit stitch you don't even need a pearl you can have the most fun ever with a dot with color even with the smallest scrappies like it's that's the best thing about it even with the smallest scrappies you can get the most more, the most fun ever by just alternating the colors and these hats are just 50 grams each including the brims because i want to see how far you can take a 50 gram squishy bundle those are 50 grams that's where i'm going i've also got some dk versions as well this like the darker the the more the contrast the more that the colors go against each other, the more I kind of like it. So this is on my firm. I love, I love the contrast list. This is a DK hat. Oh my God. So the color swapping around in here is just sunset type faded ones. So I've got lots of sunset themed things. Just noticed this is what I'm like today. I'm just like in the middle of doing stuff, but very warm. Sunset vibes. And this one. Oh all the colors with coal look at that and it just looks really intense and quite intricate even though you're doing something as simple as just alternating two colors now there are things that i've definitely learned about using this type of stitch these are some examples of the wrist warmers so there's like a set coming up set coming up um the wrist warmers is that there's a few things that you can do to make working with two colors a lot easier especially since if you look at it you're thinking oh it's just quite straightforward stop 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 but i managed to make myself some very peculiar pieces doing that so where's my where is that there it is this is one of the first ones i did with the swip swap swip, swip technique here you go here you go here you go and it looks absolutely like stained glass window amazing i just love it i can't get it on like it is the smallest tube ever and i have small feet like it doesn't even go on my wrist well it does but it's a bit of a struggle oh my gosh so this there's a couple of things i love about this technique number one it's very dense number two like all the scraps you've got going will just go mad in here so that is where i'm going next because 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 i am obviously because i'm knitting all the scrappies the shop update the next shop update is going to be full of scrappies and this brings me on to the conversation about what has john been doing today for me well this is why I am getting a bit excited because my next project is going to be super scrappy orientated because John has printed me up some new bags. Yay! Oh, do you know, everything takes a minute, but when it arrives, boom, 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 things just fall into place because I am gathering the stash of scrappies. Now, if you're wondering what this is, these are all like five gram scrappies of squish. Since I've started dyeing yarn, selling yarn knitting this is primarily what i use for all of my makes the scra like <clears throat> scrappies everywhere like it's my main mode of conversation oh it's everywhere it's everywhere all this is like this this is this so this is what i've been doing for years so i'm at the place where now i'm just this is what i do so if you if you're wondering what on earth you'll find in the shop if you go and visit this type of stuff scrappy type of stuff bundles of squish type of stuff and in the next squish update i will be having bags full of scrappies 
Now, obviously, there's absolutely tons of colours going into these bags. I have about 60 or 70 different colours, and all the colours that are going in are... Oh, some of them are brand new. Some of them are never going to die again because I'm like, oh, that was so much fun. What about the next one? I'm in a place of trying it all out. So these bundles will be different to the last ones we're in the shop. So I am going to grab me just off the rack a bag of what you guys are going to get so that I can knit what you're knitting when you're knitting it or the other way around. I'll knit what you've got. You know what I mean? Mostly my next project is going to be scrappy galore because that's where I am because I have got so many projects that need scraps. It's unreal because I've got spots to do. Spots, spots. This one I've got to rework in scrappies, scrappies. And I need to get some, I'd love to. I'm going to get like a leg warmer pattern done as well because these, maybe not as socks because they're a wee bit restrictive when you put them on. And maybe if you're awesome at doing heels, which I am not, you could do something where the heel allows a bit more stretch. But this, I think, would work awesome as a leg warmer. But you need to give it a bit more wiggle, a bit more room. So that's where I am today on day two. Day two of Vlogmas. I am knitting one thing at a time, which will be finished tomorrow. Planning my next scrappy project, because that's what I'm about right now. The scraps. And... Debating what colour to cast on for John's, literally, John has asked me for wrist warmers. Now, you're like, well, that shouldn't be a problem. But it, it, look, I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of colours and John will not choose one. And I've got to choose one for him and I'm like, but I like wild and crazy. I'm not sure you want to wear wild and crazy. So he's like, just whatever. So I'm going to go and have a little look what colours to do John's wrist warmers in because that is going to be oh my gosh that's John's gift knit <gasps> we wonder what to get John for Christmas I can gift knit him some wrist warmers yes yes see quick wins quick wins and wrist warmers don't take very long but this pair John's asked me to do a thumb hole so you can work well you, you'll be able to see if I can work out how to do a thumb hole I think I do it's like cast off and then and then cast on Let's see how I do it. And if it works, I'll put it in a pattern, put it in the website. You can try it out first and try it out. Let me know if it works. But anyway, so I hope your second day of Squishmas Vlogmas, the 2nd of December, and whatever you're doing, I hope you're opening up calendars, whatever kind of cal I've seen some amazing calendars out there. Like, advent calendars are really, they've, they've changed. They have changed. I like even just one for a tea is quite exquisite like even i'm thinking of like what would i get as an advent calendar if it wasn't yarn because yarn is everywhere like i could make my own yarn advent calendar but let's be fair i'd probably get too excited open up the whole lot and also i'd probably have to wrap my own because john wasn't excited about wrapping one the other day or actually it was a couple of years ago because he said you know what all the colors are i was like i know so dilemmas for me dilemmas for me but Wrist warmers for John. Scrap, this is a slub hat. This pattern will be available soon. And this is going to be using up 60 grams of slubby squish. So if you grabbed yourself a bundle of squish from the shop the other day, this is definitely something you can make. And I am I just, I'm, I just love the contrast. Don't be afraid to go bold because I haven't worked in this color palette for a long time. I generally, before, before my car accident, I wore black all the time. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. And then after then, I hardly, in fact, I never wore it, apart from a funeral. Never wore black because I kind of felt like it was the only colour I knew so well that I should leave it behind and start fresh and actually just be every other colour that I was afraid to be before. So this is kind of what you're seeing is Kate being every colour that she wasn't before. So now I'm kind of going back to black because this colour really is like... It's like a foundation to other colours that I've got and I'm excited about exploring this and for sure this is going to be a jumper because what, how could I... I've been waiting to find the combinate the perfect combination because you know what it's like when you knit for fun, for no... Like I knit for no reason. For no reason. So I can just choose whatever colours I like but when it's for me, when you think about wearing it, you actually have to like be like, would I wear that? And to be honest, oh... 
every day like this would probably be the jumper I, I go and dye my yarn in because I'd be like who cares if it gets ruined I could just knit myself another one in exactly the same colors so there you go I'm pondering about big knits small knits quick knits gift knits Christmas knits and the fact that I've managed to do day two of vlogmas vlogmas squishmas and I'll see you again tomorrow let me know underneath I'd love to know seriously what are you knitting for Christmas what are you knitting with your advents let me know because I would love some other ideas too because I've got I want to knit some baubles for the Christmas tree. I made a spotty one last year that is really cool that I would like to try another one of. But I would like to know what everyone is knitting for Squishmas, Christmas, Vlogmas. Tell me down the stairs. It blew. Well, I'm under the stairs. Tell me in the comments because I would love to know. Because otherwise, I'm just rambling on about what I'm making. And you guys probably are making far more than I am. Yeah. And actually, I don't have an advent calendar. I am just going rogue. So, you guys, with actual, like, day-by-day -day knitting, I'd love to know if whether or not you were knitting other projects on the side because you just can't wait until tomorrow because that would be something I would struggle with, like, having to wait because I like to just finish the knit. <sighs> so, I'm going upstairs to do some gaming with Tabby, which I promised, and do some more squishing and dyeing, and I should be back tomorrow with day three, and I wonder what I'll be making. Hopefully, I would have cast on my next project. Until then, squishes, if you're not knitting, crafting, or crocheting, just keep it ticking over. It, it will happen. Trust me. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!